What's up everybody and welcome back to our Trans Ocean the Shipping Company Let's play here we are here in the scenario um, I played a little bit off camera it's been a while since uh, we've done a uh, video here So let's get back into it I've got our Alabama which is our biggest ship is cruising out Our other ship the Explorer Oop, The Merce I'm sorry I don't know why I'm thinking the Explorer Ooh. <clears throat> It's been a long day apparently so the iVision Explorer is sitting here in Lisbon. Let's see, we have to bring our bank balance up to 10, 000, uh, 10 million euros. We are sitting at 4.5. We have to fill, fulfill one company contract. We have to become a tycoon. And we have to get to the next rank. So we've got a lot to get covered here. And we're going to start here in Lisbon. Uh, this ship is actually headed to uh, Ambari Lamini. So we are actually going to send it there. We're going to fuel up with the fuel we need and we're gonna sh get it out of here there's no no need for it to be sitting around there we are and let's get it out of here have power 13 days that'll be good um, we're, our ships are definitely going a lot farther now um, we're not making the short hauls as much because we want to bring in more revenue because we have to pay our investor back every three months um, so we're working on that right now and we just, uh, well, off camera, I actually had to pay her back again. So, we will do that. Probably have another payback here. <coughs> Especially with this ship having to go uh, 13 days out. Uh, it's definitely be a long time. But having two ships is a little bit to, uh, to deal with. We're actually pretty full, pretty loaded here. Um, you'll actually see, I think the Alabama has actually got a full load on her. So that'll be neat for you guys to see because we haven't seen uh, the Alabama fully loaded. So let's get this thing out of here a little bit faster. There we go. Thank you. And you can see we have all this stuff. We've got new reputation. We are now famous. Yes. All right. The Alabama is in Rejavik. 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 So let's bring it in. I'm still bringing in our ships manually just because we don't really have that much funds and because we bought a new ship we had to take out a loan but as you can see the Alabama full, pretty fully loaded uh, this actually isn't the most loaded I've had or I've had her actually more loaded off camera it is a sight to see when she is fully loaded um, she's just a massive ship here but after we uh, get this ship docked um, we're gonna look at uh, company contracts and we're gonna f fulfill one here or might not be able to fulfill one because they are really really big so it'll probably take a couple episodes before we fill one but we have two ships so that'll help uh, help us out a lot so that way we can keep one ship fulfilling the company contracts and the other ship will be uh, doing short hauls or we could have them both run in the company contract for a little bit too we'll, we'll see uh, we just have to think about like the size of this the Alabama here and the speed it takes a while for her to get far places so while she might be able to carry a lot of goods uh, she also takes almost double the time to get someplace because she's not as fast so we need to actually turn come on baby come on she is a big ship she does not turn on a dime now like our other ship um, we might have to back her back her up just a little bit yeah, we're going to have to back her up just a little bit. We're not going to swing it. It would be kind of nice if uh, they had port and bow thrusters. It um, would be really nice. It would make stuff like this really easy. But they do not. So not much we can do about that. Well, I don't know why it keeps ringing us. It's like, oh, because we're going in reverse. All right, so once we, once we get enough room here, all right, we should be good. So let's bring her hard over again. All right, now we should be we should be clear of the dock now. Should be clear. We'll swing her. That's how she is. Such a tight spot, and then we got this ice to worry about here. All right, let's straighten her out, and she'll go straight in like so. We might have to swing the the rear end in. Uh, so we might have to get the uh, the bow the bow brought in a little bit here I think I said that right the bow the bow's the back end 
Ugh, I'm having, I'm having some brain farts here. I think the bow's the back end. Or is that the stern? Maybe it's the stern. Might be the stern. Alright, well, she's such a big ship, she doesn't even fit in the full thing there. Very, very good journey, though. We made 2.5 million euros, which brought us up really well. So, let's look at the company contracts here. We are sitting in Reykjavik, remember? So, we could go Reykjavik to Lisbon, which would be really nice. Um, not really a big company contract with value. We have five months to do it, though. Um, I don't think there's any other ones. I mean, this would be a good one to start out with. It's not very high pain compared to some of these other ones here. I mean, you're talking about Vilux to Valencia, which is a very far distance. Um, but we could do it. I think that one would be really worth it. When we look back at it, we got 1.8 million here. Stockholm to Gaia Toro, which, which is pretty far as well. Algiers to Stockholm. Port Said to Hamburg is really, really far, so it's definitely not worth it. Um, honestly, I think the Felix Store to Valencia wouldn't be too bad. Uh, we could probably have five months to do it. It wouldn't be bad. We'd have to get the ship to Felix Stowe. 950 tonnage. Hmm. Or we got Reykjavik to Lisbon. We're seeing as though we're already in Reykjavik. We might as well just we'll take this one. It's not as, uh, not as high pain, but it'll be good for us. So, contract list. And then right in the, uh, it should show it in the, in the thing. Seeing as though we're in Reykjavik, it should show up to Lisbon. Yeah, all these goods here. Remember our contract is for, no it's not. It's for, did I grab the uh, wrong, there we go. Never, yeah. So, as you can see, we are going for vegetarians. So, anyone with this, as we'll look in the, uh, go back to our ship here, and then the contract list, and here you go. So, any of these here to Lisbon, a bunch of them will obviously pop up. So, those are what we need. And, uh, it's pretty good. It's, uh, so, the biggest thing is just knowing the company contracts is down here in the little briefcase. And then once you've figure out what you have just make sure you keep an eye on it and then you should be good so let's go back to our contracts here we'll go for the big kahunas actually let's fill this ship up so you'll see what she's really like and that should be yeah it's a full load so we'll accept those now as you can see we are making the money on the shipment plus we are making the other money on the contract as well so we're making 785,000 extra on top of the other stuff that we were making to, to haul the goods so you gotta keep that in mind also as it could be very very lucrative but look at her fill up that's pretty close to full so we're gonna get her out of here actually let's just check her status make sure she's got oh yeah she's got plenty of fuel should be able to get back we got five months to get this contract done so let's get this bad boy oh she does not have enough fuel all right let's fill her up then there she goes that'll be enough fuel that's at half power too it's gonna take 11 days to get there let's get out of here let us get out of here we don't need don't need to be sitting in port as yeah, this will be nice and fun for us It's going to be a slow process getting out of port. Uh, super, super slow. But, obviously I'll, I'll let you guys watch it. Just because you never know when I might make a mistake. Like, we're probably going to hit the rear end here. Maybe not. Alright, we're doing... Wow, that was close. That was good though, I liked it. I liked it. Alright, let's swing her around. Let's slow her down. We might be able to get out of here in one go. It's just going to be a really slow process here. Luckily there's no other ships. Because I don't even think there's a... I don't even, yeah, there's no berth over there. So this is the only berth here in Reja, Rejavik, it looks like. So... Let's 
such a bad spot for big ships, that's for sure. We should really bring in the... That's the other thing, you know, to, you know, to help with the speed, maybe, like, consider the smaller ships going to the smaller ports once you figure out which ports are small, which ports are big. Uh, obviously, Lisbon's a really nice port for big ships because we can pull right into that dock. Um, so that's nice. Raja Vick here. Raja Vick. Raja Vick. Raja Vick? We could have, like, a whole, like, video just on how to pronounce Raja Vick here. But... As you can tell, this is definitely a lot nicer, uh, or a lot harder to uh, get bigger ships in and out of this port, just because of the confines of the area here. But she's definitely going to be a process. To, uh, we might, we're gonna have to go straight. We're gonna have to go out of bounds into the out of bounds area. I feel like it's just gonna have to happen. There's nothing we can do about it. We're just gonna have to slowly. Whoa, damage! Oh, how did we get damage? We must be must be close there, closer than I thought. Oh, we're already at three percent damage. Wow, that's not good. This ship's definitely gonna have to go under for repair soon, as you can tell. We're at seventy-five percent health on her. All right. Let's swing her. We've all now left the authorized route. We are in the blue zone. Have you ever seen the movie uh, Airport? Uh, they talk about like the zones for parking. Funny, 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 funny. Definitely watch that movie if you guys got a chance. It's called Airport. It was a cl it's a classic. It came out like maybe 1960s, 1970s maybe. All right, let's increase our speed here. Let's get this babe boy out of here. Alright, and we are out. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, we're out. Alright. More damage than I knew, well, would like. But, as you can see, our ships are moving across the ocean. We have the one down here. And you can see the route it's taking. And then we have this one here. Both pretty nice routes. Straight. Our, uh, we had our monthly loan. New company contracts. And uh, we are ready to dock. So let's dock her. She is at 69%. Um, eventually here we're going to have to sit these ships out for a little bit and start repairing them. Uh, for us, the best repair is to go back to Hamburg, which is our uh, port of operations. Because we get a discount on uh, ship repairs in, the, in Hamburg. So, that's why, that's why at the beginning when you're trying to figure out what port you want, um, definitely look at all the different things figure out like what options you have available and as you can see the nice blue water let's get this bad boy at uh, at her full speed for us this should be a nice little pull in here oh yeah that'll be good um, all right straight start slowing her down to seven knots so that way we can start swinging her there's another big ship right over there all right let's slow her down here I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at the, the big ship. Definitely not a good idea for captains to be doing as they're pulling into port. They need to be fully focused on the uh, test at hand here. So we're going to get this bad boy. You can see her. Ooh, look at that thing. That thing's huge. And she's flying. Alright, let's swing her back the other way. Hopefully it's not too late. Oh yeah, it's not too late. Swing her back. Alright, and over. All right, that's not too bad. Uh, actually, let's swing. We don't want to hit the rear end here. I was gonna say it might have been our fastest time, but it will will not be. But it was close. It was close. Look at that thing. That was definitely a huge lucrative journey, almost worth nine million euros. We keep it up at this rate, you guys will be able to see us make the ten million euro mark. But we are sitting here in, where are we? Ambarli Lamini. So let's check out our contracts here. See what we have going. We got Dublin. Where is Dublin at? Oh, she's all the way up there. Antiques and fossils, though. Um, if we could find something to Lisbon on the way, it would be nice. But we don't have anything to Lisbon. Um, everything is there. pretty far away for us. Valencia would be a halfway point. 
I'm just saying because I don't think we're gonna make it to Dublin on a full tank. It just isn't going to uh, to happen. I don't think we can. We can try. Let's fill. Yeah. See, we're gonna have to fill her all the way up. Let's do it. Let's fill her all the way up. She's gonna be a costly fill. Up. Ooh, she could go to Dublin all the way. And it really still doesn't even fill us up. Hmm. Interesting. But she will be very lucrative. So let's get her out of here. It's gonna take us a while to get there. Can we get there? On, let's see if we can get there on Dublin. In 15 days at full full power. And uh, it's not a big issue. So we should be we should be fine. Let's let's get her out of here. 15 days. We have the Alabama going back and forth. We'll, we'll check up on that contract. It should, if I recall correctly, it'll show us how much we have left to do once the uh, sh ship uh, docks at birth. Or every time we all offload the cargo. So we should be good here. Uh, so you might be able to see us hit the uh, 10 million euro mark. We'll see how, how things progress. We might have to pay back in our investor though. I'm not really sure yet. I'm not sure what month we're in. Uh, compared to when we last paid her and we are going the wrong way we're going to back straight out of here straight out this could be one of them straight out ones it just doesn't make sense for us to to pull either way out of their sides and then spin around um, if this was realistic and we had port and bow thrusters um, then I would do it because this then we could just swing the ship basically a 180 and it's not a big issue uh, but we are gonna have an issue with this big ship down here um, that's not good oh boy oh boy wow <laughs> that's not realistic at all either <laughs> how, how fast that thing just stopped <laughs> sorry <laughs> But yeah, that was definitely not real. That thing was cruising. Holy cow. Thing looked like it was doing at least like 40. Huh. Oh, but we will get probably our fastest time out of here. Thanks to us backing straight out and cutting that guy off. But there isn't real, you know, maybe maybe in the next game they'll, they'll make it a little bit more realistic about the stoppage time on these things. At the same time, it's also a game, so we gotta be, you know, mindful of that as well. So they are out of here. Let's lower that. And the Alabama is now ready to dock. So let's dock her, and then uh, we'll check out the con company contract, see how much we have left, and then we'll uh, send that back up to Rajavik. Um, Rajavik. I always say Rajavik. It's Rajavik. Just one of those things. All right, let's go. Let's get this bad boy in. Let's start turning her. Let's slow her down, because we are actually right at the first berth here, which is just nuts. It's crazy that we're at the first one with, with this guy. But she is huge. Probably because she needs the crane. Well, I think uh, both slips have the uh, crane, though. So it's not a big deal. Oh man, we are not going to turn again. Why do we have this issue here with this ship? Ugh. Need to back her up. That was close. That was close. Alright, let's... She's almost straight. I would say almost. Alright, let's... Well, quick she just re re returns to... Either going forward or backwards, it's just nuts how fast she can just stop and, and change change direction like that. Just imagine if they did that for the way she turns, we wouldn't have any of these issues. Alright, let's go get this bad boy in. Uh, definitely the longest dock time, well, as far as we can see. Might not be the longest ever, but close to it. And we are in. Man, we didn't make a whole lot, but 800,000. Remember, we're filling that company contract. So let's go here. And you can see 42% uh, of that contract has now just been delivered. So five months to do it in. I think we're still within those five months. So we got plenty of time. 
Let's see if we have anything. Nothing going back to Rejavik. Nick, Rejavik. So while we're waiting, um, let's just. Uh, oh, we don't want to fuel. Well, we are gonna fuel up. So we'll fuel up. But then we were here for the uh, ship repair, is what we really wanted. And we really just want three days. So 80% will be good. Um, it's a little bit more costlier than I wanted, but we're going to go back to the world map so that way our other ship can uh, can continue on her way. But that was definitely a long... I didn't realize how far she actually really had to go. She definitely has to go a long way. So let's go back to our buddy here. We still don't have anything going to Reykjavik, which is not good because we have to get back there. It's the only problem with company contracts. We ha we can't get. We have to get back to that port. We could just, you know what? We could just cast off, but we don't want to go empty. Is the other thing. So let's see if there's anything to do one, and there's not. Technical care ship's not ready either, and now she is, and we have new contracts. So oh, perfect timing. Perfect timing. We got a contract for Rejavik. And uh, let's cast her off and get her out of here. And then uh, next episode you'll come back and you'll see as we uh, might not be able to finish the company contract next up. Yeah, we definitely will be able to. Uh, but next episode we'll definitely probably hit the 10 million euros. So you'll be able to see what that gives us. So let's get this bad boy... Uh, Get her slowly sailing out of here. So we'll take her out, and then uh, next episode, guys, you'll uh, you'll see see her uh, hit port. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.